it is another interesting edition of the market opening gong where we bring you developments in the market this edition captures the market performance for wednesday august 7th 2019. from the nigerian stock exchange the all share index closed at 27,412.13 basis points with a market capitalization of 13.358 trillion naira meaning it depreciated by minus 0.42 percent Sustained sell pressures in the local bars dragged the benchmark index southwards as the ASI declined by 42 basis points, while year-to-date loss was into minus 12.8%. Performance across sectors was bearish as four of six indices ended the trading day in red. The insurance index led losers shedding 1.9% due to losses in Continental Insurance, WAPIC and mutual benefits, while sell-offs in Dangote Cement led to the decline in the Industrial Goods Index by minus 1.0%. In the same vein, the Banking Index declined 0.4% due to sell pressures in Zenith Bank and Union Bank. Consequently, investors lost 56.2 billion Naira in the market on Wednesday. ICO, Cornell and Lasaco topped the gainers, while Red Starek, Continental Insurance and Jais Bank were among the top losers. FBN Holdings, Transcore and First City Monument Bank were the top players in terms of trade volumes. For the FMBQ OTC exchange, the debt market size closed at 32.39 trillion naira, the NAFEX rate closed at 362 naira 19 kobo to a dollar, while the IND FX rate opened at 362 naira 63 kobo and closed at 362 naira 83 kobo to a dollar. Looking at the NASD OTC market, the unlisted share index closed at 721.51 basis points with a market capitalization of 518.36 billion naira. Volume of shares traded was 562,573 and the value traded 77.435 million naira in seven deals executed. You can also check the Nigerian economic indices on the dashboard displayed on the screen. For the highlights from yesterday, cement giant Lafarge Africa concluded the divestment from its South Africa operations following the approval of the sale of Lafarge South Africa holdings by shareholders at the 60th annual general meeting of the company. The sale price was $316.289 million and has been utilized to clear the foreign currency debt of the company. This means the only debt owed by Lafarge Africa, the 33 billion naira corporate bond due for redemption in June 2021, and the 16 billion naira Central Bank of Nigeria intervention loans through the Bank of Industry. From the July 2019 Nigerian Capital Market Service report, here are key developments. The total debt market size for the FMBQ Securities Exchange in July 2019 was 32.42 trillion naira. The Nigerian Stock Exchange total market capitalization stood at 26.6 trillion naira and the NASD OTC market capitalization for the same month summed up to 520.15 billion naira. For further inquiries on the ProShare Monthly Capital Market Service Report, you can contact research at ProShareNG.com. For the key economic and business events to watch out for today, the Institute of Directors in Nigeria will inaugurate its 16th president, Chief Chris Okonwo, FIOD, at an event scheduled for this evening at the Civic Center, Lagos. Guest speaker for the event will be Mr. Bis Makurani, a renowned financial analyst in Nigeria and CEO of Financial Derivatives Company. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. You can visit our website www.prochereng.com to get more updates from our news stories and videos. You can also follow our social media platforms shown on the screen for further updates on our market reports. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching and do have a wonderful day.